So something to think about is our uncontrolled mind. It's so often like that, isn't it? You know, like I'd say in joke, but it's true. I've never met a person yet who says, Rabina, I can't, you know, I can't stop thinking good thoughts. We don't, we're not like that. Usually when the mind is uncontrolled, it's sort of not happy thoughts, maybe anxious thoughts, worried thoughts, low self-esteem thoughts, jealous thoughts, I'm bad thoughts, and so on, you know. But the tragedy about them is we believe them immediately. Because they arise, we believe they must be true. And I find this is really incredible. We should. We should be blown out by this. So we need to have some courage to listen to, me, to, listen to them objectively and, and see that they're exaggerating and not necessarily believe they're true. There might be some essence of truth in them. Maybe you did shout at that person. Maybe you did do that. But don't, you know, the, the negative thoughts that are arising, they exaggerate. They embellish. So we have to be very objective, kind of courageous, you know. So one practice, sometimes there's many approaches, but one of them is merely to step back. Now sit down for a couple of minutes and just observe the thoughts. Don't have any opinion about them. Don't believe them. Don't have a conversation with them. Simply listen to them and let them come and let them go. It's kind of powerful, you know, and don't be afraid of them. But the key one is just because the thought arises doesn't mean it's true. This is pretty incredible. So we've got to start having confidence in that. And then, so then how do we find the truth? Well, that's, that's another discussion. We can discuss that one, you know. But start by not necessarily believing those unhappy thoughts. Just because they arise in the mind doesn't mean they're true.